know that we all covet the beautiful homes we see in magazines and on TV, and you're thinking, how do I do that? We're going to start with styling your shelves. We've got Brian Gluckstein here. <laughs> We have a great, great audience. audience. Today. Oh my gosh, he walked in and got mo mobbed. Well, I, I love like, them all. What is it with this guy? Oh, They're just, all like, I want your picture. I love them all. I love them all. I, I like think hugs. It's good. I like hugs. So thanks for all the hugs this morning. He's very cuddly. This one. That's why I wear soft sweaters. I know. Because I, I know love I'm going to be snuggling with all of you. Only cashmere. Only, Only cashmere. cashmere. So we're doing shelves today, and yeah. this is great because this doesn't go anywhere. But this is. Um, great in small spaces or narrow spaces because basically we've taken a simple shelf mounted on the wall and painted it the same color as the wall. Right. So this is even great in bathrooms, hallways, bedrooms. I just love this uh, um, idea. So you can see the way we painted it the same as the wall. Yeah. Now in this one, we did uh, leaning the art. So I love leaning art. Mm -hmm. And sometimes what you have to do, especially if there's a bit of traffic, children or grandchildren, you put some little bumpers underneath so this doesn't sort oh, of slide smart. off onto the floor. That's so it, it isn't just leaning. Yeah. And sometimes we'll actually put the hooks on behind so that they're, they're secure. But secured. you know what that does? That makes art a lot more accessible because sometimes we look at a beautiful piece and we think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to hang it. I'm gonna have to measure it. I'm gonna have to get it right. If you're just leaning it, just leaning it. and layering it, I well, think that's it's the nice key. having more than one. That's the key. You, could, you can lean a piece a big piece on a mantle, but mm -hmm. when you're dealing with smaller pieces, you need to layer a few of them. So right. you want to do, and, and everything we have is from Hudson's Bay and Home Outfitters, so it's very accessible product. Now what I love is when I do a shelf in an entrance way, I have to have a box because I can't remember where my keys go. <laughs> so you just come home and you put the keys in there and yes. you are not looking for them any other time. So that's a great place to put them. Always leave them there, not in the fridge. Do you ever no, have those days when you're like, where are my keys and they're no, somewhere crazy? No, but that's a problem. Yes. That's <laughs> I'm too young that's another for show. that. <laughs> yes, in the fridge. It's called being up all night like nursing kids. That, your brain goes crazy, that would, right? I would know about that. But that's, <laughs> also, what you can do is you can take books, and obviously not important books, but you can cut out the center of the page and just lift it up and put the keys in there and close them so no one knows the keys are in there. Oh, that's cheap. That's, that's where you hide like jewelry that. also. You take your book, you, yeah. you draw a square in the book, uh -huh. and you cut through all the pages and put things in there and just stick it on the shelf. I know exactly where I'm going in your house now. Try to find it. I have a lot of books. <laughs> That's a lot. It's a big I have a library. lot of books. But I love votive candles also when you're entertaining, so put small votives in here. And then flowers. It's great in the foyer to have flowers. Yeah. I like fresh flowers. You can use artificial flowers. There's great artificial flowers for most of the time. And then when you're entertaining, just take them out and put the... Real Absolutely. Arms. So the levels. I like the, the levels. different levels, That's the, the leading art, the votive candles. You've got some lighting, some ambiance, the books and the box. I think it's gorgeous. And then you take it over here, done in a completely different style. Exactly. But following a lot of the same rules, Correct. right? Correct. And layering was really important. I'm glad you mentioned that because it's not all the same height. This yes. is a different height. These are different heights. So this is a different height. This is a different height. You don't want it all the same. It's no. the same thing for mantle pieces. It's the same same story for a mantle. But here we did the books, the box. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't want to have the the box for your keys, I often use a tray too. Yeah. So that works. in Florida, I just throw my keys on the tray. Candlesticks. Again, if you're doing candlesticks, we want to vary the heights. Yes. And here we hung the art, and I like it low. I like it part of the grouping. Yes. So it's not above everything. You don't want to start it above everything. You want it behind. And some people will say, well, it's behind the vase. That's okay. That's okay, absolutely. And here we've mixed the vases, so we have artificial hair and fresh hair. Right. But this piece, because some of the pieces are special pieces, they look good empty. Right. So you can have this piece here or do succulents that need nothing. I mean, succulents are the easiest last things. last forever. And then when you take these out, this is still a beautiful piece here. Very good. I love that, whether you have it or not. So really good point about the hanging of art. And I think um, a lot of us are still not hanging our art low enough. Well, Look at how key. good this looks. You want to enjoy your art, especially if you've gone out and gotten an original piece. Have it at eye level. Exactly, and, and low. And this is from Very Art low. Interiors, and we used the white frame so it didn't sort of pop right. away from this. But I like art, especially over a sofa. I like it low. Me too. So, I mean, at my height, I'd have everything at the ceiling. But <laughs> So I have to think about that. But yes. it looks more part of the sort of styling when it's part of it, yes. the, the way it's hung. So we should love. get folks to show us before and after photos. So show us what your shelf or your mantle looked like before Brian. 
Yes. And then show us after this lesson. Tweet it to us. You're at Gluckstein Home. Uh, I'm at Tracy City Line and at City Line CA. I love to see that stuff on Twitter.